Allah explains it beautifully in this verse. Allah first says, abstain, refrain from excessive conjecture. Then Allah says, wala tajassasu, and do not search for faults. Then Allah says, wala yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da, and do not backbite one another. Why does Allah mention all three? Because this is gradual progression. The first will lead to the last. We start thinking about something or someone. And these runaway thoughts build up. Now we convinced. We're convinced. We thought about it so much. It's etched itself in into our conscious. It seared itself in our memory, in our brain. So we convinced. Now all we need is proof. So we go out looking for proof. And then there's confirmation bias. We'll see a hundred things which refute that, but they seem to escape us. But if we come across one ambiguous thing which possibly may suggest something close to what we were imagining, we seize upon it as definite proof. Now we're convinced and we've actually got evidence. What happens then? We can't rest. We have to give the good news to the whole world. So we begin talking. And let not one of you back and do not backbite one another. So we start spreading the good news, telling everyone. And then Allah ends the verse by saying, Would any one of you wish that you consume the flesh of your dead brother? So subhanAllah, you know what this verse shows? This verse begins with something and ends with something. And shall I tell you what it begins with? It begins with a single thought, which is baseless. It's sheer speculation and mere conjecture. So it begins with a single thought and it ends with this person feasting on the flesh of his dead brother's corpse. That's what that one thought leads to. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, cut it from the roots. Do not resort to conjecture, do not speculate. There could be many explanations about why someone has done something, why someone said something. There could be many explanations. And wouldn't we want others to give us the benefits of doubt? Who is pure? Who is not prone to mistakes? Who is not prone to the odd, well, to the ga to gaffes? Who is not prone to making ill judgments? Who is there who doesn't sin? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Kullu Bani Adam khatta wa khayru khatta'een al-tawwaboon. All the children of Adam are sinners, and the best of sinners are the ones who repent.